All right. Chapter two. Chapter two. How I became even cooler. <laughs> He's just constantly talking about the movie that exists only in his head. And I played by DC Douglas. Chapter two. No, played by Tim Curry. Chapter two. <laughs> He's here, he's here also. <laughs> Wesker powered up the rope boy and reached the surface. He still had to escape through the training facility, teeming with BOWs howling for blood. And then the sexy, busty, time. buxom <laughs> model that he was accompanying was Bust. like, oh, the, the Boston hey, Wesker. Wesker, I so love your awesome pecs and wonderful hairstyle. I, I, and I, I uh, Wesker was kind of love this, where every character is Wesker. <laughs> it, even the women just no, have this the is sunglasses. A, this is his, uh, his, his fake autobiography. Oh, True, like, yes, yes. Where he's embellishing every detail. <laughs> ah, yes. I am that good looking. And then his 12 inch long popped out. <laughs> and was used Fantic to kill. Wesker. It was used to kill two crimson heads and a liquor just by looking at it. <laughs> oh, God, no. I don't like it. No. Fanfic Wesker, please. Have mercy on all of us mortals. And Chris was like, Oh my god, Wesker, you're oh so my cool! God. Makes me want to punch a boulder into hell. And then he did. Straight into hell with him. Oh, well, yep, I guess we're turning tail and running from monkeys. So what do you think, Chris? I think the dialogue needs a bit of punching up! And he uppercuts him. You know, Wesker going to Chris for, de for like, extensive help with his fanfiction is something I never thought I wanted. Like, I can just imagine Wesker in the star's office no, no, writing no, no. this fan fiction. Nah, he can't show it to Chris. He's too- You don't think so? He's, he's too biased, there's too much fan action. He, he needs someone which, with whom he has no relation to whatsoever. Leon. Leon, check it out. Huh? What's this? It's my story about my life. Mm -hmm. what, yes. what do you think? What do you think? You're getting a little too Kelsey Grammer in my uh, Wesker, but, <laughs> but that's okay, I'll take it anyway. The, no, oh, great, that's another interpretation. Yeah, yeah, that's another interpretation. So he hands Leon uh, his, uh, his script, he's like, So, well, what do you think? What do you think? He goes, well, it's pretty fantastic. Maybe Leon's just too nice. Wipes away a tear. <laughs> yeah, Leon's too nice. He, he can't give criticism, that's why everybody likes him. Oh, Leon. You never know the pain of having high intelligence and a need for world domination. Oh my god, Beatnik <laughs> Wesker! <laughs> He's got the beret and everything! Maybe we, maybe instead of saturating the world in a <laughs> deadly virus, we can have a glass of sherry. Maybe not. This is some opera, perhaps. Uh, some opera, perhaps. I've even got the binoculars. I want to be. Oh, what was yeah. that? No, go back! There, there need to Please be turn. like a brother character for Niles, and Wesker doesn't have that. Oh, da, da. Nah, damn it. Ah, well. I think that was a different type of grenade launcher. I didn't see it, I pretended not to see it. It does not exist. It is no longer in my in my viewpoint. It does not exist. Dang, you dropped him! You forgot the weapon! You forgot your grenade launcher! Oh, you forgot- Oh! There's a grenade launcher if you- if you oh. They're just trying to be helpful and- God damn it, take this grenade launcher! Oh. Hey, is there a grenade launcher? Oh, did you get the grenade launcher? Ah! <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Get the- Get out of here! <laughs> Crazy apes! Ooh. Thank you. Oh. Anyway, I made my way down to the walkway. Where I was completely- <laughs> Where I had no troubles whatsoever. Due to self-narrating biography! And there was never a grenade launcher. There was never a grenade launcher! And there were no monkeys, and there were no bats, and nothing happened, and everything was fine. Bang, 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 bang. Ah! Oh, where did you come from? But there were two zombies that were just there suddenly. <laughs> Oh, this fanfic, it, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. And then Sonic the Hedgehog comes forward Oh my and god, says, yes! Wow, you're a pretty cool guy, Wesker! <laughs> this just reminds me of the one fanfic.net Twitter is just like, You mean the Chaos Emeralds? Said Barack Obama to Shadow. You mean these Chaos Emeralds? No! Ah. There we go. Albert Crane, the, the, the long-lost third Crane brother. Boom. Ooh, oh, there, there, what? Oh, we got it! Yeah! Oh, that, that seems to be its its trick. 
no, son of a bitch. Yeah, that, that, that's his trick to be like, oh, here's here's a cool weapon. Oh, oh. God. Uh, can here, I get here's uh, a cool weapon over here? But you can't get it. No, no, keep that keep that next straight. Submachine gun, please. Oh, submachine gun. Okay, machine gun. Ah! Oh, yeah, Rick, of course. Right after I die. You know, I swear I had more first aid sprays around here. Someone keeps <laughs> taking them. God, uh, for the I way- I green herbs everywhere, all my ammo, everywhere. all my- you ever thought about investing in like a like a P.O. box or like a, like, a, like a bank or something? Or like a satchel? I'm a terrorist, I can't. <clears throat> well, at least, uh, at least you own it. It's too bad uh, Albert Wesker died before Bitcoin took over. They're called NFTs, Chris. I got the inspiration when I went through the first mansion and saw a bunch of monkeys. It made sense at the time. You wouldn't understand. The NFT virus. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, oh no! Oh. It truly and, is! And it's, and it's just a, the same tyrant, you know, all that, the heart out there, but, <laughs> but the face is a bored ape. <laughs> doom, doom. Doom, doom. You wouldn't understand. This is the face of pure perfection. Uh, can't... Uh, do I... Oh, oh god, there's a lot of stuff around here. I don't know. Magnum! Magnum! Thank you! <laughs> Alright. Oh, and grenades, too? Oh, I need that. I Where's actually... your gun at? You're the samurai edge, that's it. I kind of like these stages, honestly. It's just, like, here's a bunch of enemies. Shoot them, shoot them dead. Well, I mean, they promised Albert Wesker on the cover. This is basically what I expect Albert Wesker would do. It's like, excuse me, I'm trying to get. Excuse me. Oh, can I get more firepower, please? I, I have a meeting at two. Shh. At two p.m. It is one <laughs> forty-five. You are making me late. Poignant, Wesker. I'm trying to get to my meeting on time. You are making it very difficult. Please stop. I'm just making up all these uh, variations of Wesker. Permutations, yeah. I, I think he's okay with that. I mean, he, he's been God before. It's, you know, it's too bad that Wesker died in five, because, you know, I, if I was Wesker, I would have, like, taken parts of my brain or, you know, DNA and samples and put them, like, all around the world. Everywhere. Basically, like, Horcruxes from Harry Potter. Yes, you know who Evie's mother is, but did you ever wonder who the father was? Honestly, that's the that's the link I'm, I'm expecting. I'd... Well, they kind of did that. They kind of did that. Ethan Winters and Albert Wesker are two characters I wish could have met. Together at last. Ethan, I will destroy you. And Ethan's like, yeah, not likely. <laughs> that sounded so much like Ethan. <laughs> ha, fat chance. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it's just his straight nature is just, just so wonderful. What the fuck? That's special. That is special. I am special. Oh, I got it. Nice. Yeah, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan lives in a world of no takesies backsies. Or even like his own son, Jake Wesker. Who? Jake Wesker. He doesn't exist. He, do he does exist. He was in Resident Evil 6, and then he rode off on his motorcycle and was never seen again. And was never seen again. That's right. Are you ever going to come back? I'm Troy Baker. You can't get me back for another game. <laughs> Oh, plot! Where might you be going, Conan? My next. Shouldn't you be in a Devil May Cry game? The Seriously. of the management training facility was your mission. Like, call up Hideki Kamiya. He could use a enemy like you in one of his games. Actually, I belong in some lesser-known Square Enix RPG, but here I am. Did his hand just clip through the blade? And or did the blade just clip through his hand? There we go. What would hurt more, getting stabbed by a blade or getting clipped by a blade? I think getting clipped, because you could take off like a chunk of skin with that. If you're getting stabbed, it's just like okay. And uh, uh, oh, okay. I, I, I just did something really dumb. Do do the... <laughs> okay. Give me a tissue. Give me a tissue. Get it, monster. Do as I say, not as I do. Ah, oh, ah, oh, 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 it hurts. I, I need a oh, tissue to mouth wash. Oh my god, it hurts. Ow. So this guy looks like Garum from Jet Grind Radio. Yes. Jet Set Radio, I should say. Ew. Uh, can I have my magnum, please? Dude. Uh, oh! The fucking... <laughs> the first track from Bomb Rush Cyberfunk got released. And... Ah! 
I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be my next obsession after Elden Ring when when that comes out. And uh, you know, oh yeah, it, isn't that the uh, the spiritual successor? It, it's basically fine. Fuck off. F fine. Fuck off. It's, really? It's basically fine. If you won't make Jet Set Radio Three Sega, we'll just make it ourselves. Oh no, we gotta go all the way back. We'll even hire Hideki Naganuma, who left Sega like eight years ago or something. Sixteen years ago? Something like that. Some kind of. Divisible. Oh good, we're back. Some kind of divisible by eight. And then let me know when you need uh, your ma Magnum. Magnum, right? Magnum, yeah, I, right? I would love How, my how about Magnum. the rocket launcher? Get that out okay. of the way. Yeah. Oh, it's a rocket launcher. It's not even a grenade launcher. Yeah. Right in my face. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right in the face. Still fine. All right, All right uh, no. here we go. Magnum, Magnum time. Magnum this bitch in the face. Is there, like, no way to avoid that? Ow. Ow. Oh, ow. That's not doing any damage. Is it not? Barely any damage. Oh! Yeah, actually, I, I do want that. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> I like to think that's what happens whenever that happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, ooh, yes, ooh, yes, ooh, please. Ooh, yes, please. Ooh, oh, ooh. indeed. Ah! Oh. Ow. Excuse me, fucking shoot! There! Ow. And now guess what? Suck it! I missed! I can't- uh, uh, Weapon please! Weapon please! Ah, ah, weapon please! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, weapon I'm sorry. please! Jesus! Do a magnum right! <laughs> we got it! Alright! Yeah, got... ah. Nothing to it, I'm so I... cool! <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Get back, get back! Panic, no panic! <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker the Weeb. Yes! <laughs> Fine. We have the Talos Retrieval to take care of anyway. Everything. For Umbrella. My pursuers left behind. I regroup with the Star's Alpha Team. There was no time for delays. Umbrella's command structure was in motion, and the real struggle was about to begin. Okay, so besides the death... Yeah! Yeah, yeah that, that was pretty spasa, if I, if I do say so myself. Whew, we got a brand new rocket launcher out of that. Sweet! Oh my god, that was funny. Huh. I, I'm just sitting there going, click, 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 click. Ah. Anyway, so the thing about, you know, Jet Set Radio and Elden Ring is that they're very similar when you boil them to- Oh, right, you want it, right, yeah. I was just imagining, like, Wesker in the background getting pounded in the face as the player <laughs> two is just like, so Jet Set Radio, ow, let ow, me tell you. Ow, 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 ow. You know, Wesker, when we get back, we should open up our old Sega Dreamcast and hook that up and just have, have a good old time. Ow, well, ow, I got, actually, ow, no, wait, I got the Steam ow, version, which ow, is a little bit better, probably ow, easier. You know, we got the HD and all that, and, uh, you know, you know, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should go back, hook up and play some, like, a... Ooh, Skate Three! You know, I got backwards compatibility and all that. And oh yeah, it'll, it'll it'll be it'll be a fun time. You, you'll just watch. Uh, you are good, comrade. Sir, sir. Oh well, I'll just play myself then. This level was also pretty fun to play, except for your, you know, the ending bit with the boss. But I'll talk about that here in a second. We only missed one file, so let's go get it. Yeah, go figure. It was right at the beginning with the monkeys. As you're heading down this hallway, you have a better chance to get this, but I actually unleashed this one by accident. It's at the last light here, closest to the door, on your left, coming towards it, on your right, leaving it. And there we go. Not too many files in these side stories, which I am very thankful for. I'm also very thankful that they don't take that long to complete, because some of these chapters can get very long, especially when you waste all your ammo getting to the boss. Speaking of the boss... I said last episode that I really like the story bits that tie in between Zero, Remake, and possibly Three. I hate the new additions to Umbrella Chronicles. These characters serve no purpose. The entirety of their subplot could have been written out and you would have lost nothing. If this just would have been a recollection of Zero, One, and Three and the events that happened in them, it would have been fine. But no. They added really boring characters and really obnoxious bosses to stand in for a challenge 
in these little sub-stories. I'm okay with challenge, they're fine, but when I'm supposed to be a super-powered character, and I'm barely doing any damage to a monster, we got some issues here, because that ruins flow, and ruins your story. And you might be saying, oh, well, Wesker doesn't have his powers yet. The tyrant in the last one went down so quickly because we technically killed it like three times over and it just refused to stay dead. So don't give me that garbage. Everything that was added specifically to Umbrella Chronicles just isn't that good in my opinion. And there are some other additions that will be complained about, specifically tying into the movies, but that's for later. Wesker's story has just begun, and Umbrella Chronicles is going to continue that storyline until we reach, well, a good stopping point. Rebecca, however, also had a side story, and it's what happened to her directly after Resident Evil Zero.